Welcome everyone, this is Kevin from CXE Tutor, and in this new video playlist we will be going through the solutions to the May-June 2016 Mathematics Paper 2. In this video we will be going through specifically questions 1A, Part 1 and 2. In question 1A, Part 1, you are asked to use a calculator or otherwise to calculate the following expression and you're supposed to give your answer as a fraction in the lowest terms. Like with most of these early questions, you're just required to know some basic algebra, such as how to convert from mixed fractions to improper fractions, and how to add, subtract, and divide fractions and decimal numbers. In order to start this question, the first thing I would do would be to convert these mixed fraction expressions into improper form. So for the first one, you have three and three eighths, so to get to improper form, you multiply the 3 by 8 and you add 3. So 3 by 8 plus 3 is 27 over 8 minus now. You have 2 and a quarter, 2 times 4 plus 1. That should give me 9 over 4. And finally, 1 and a half. 1 times 2 plus 1. That is 3 over 2. Alright, so now we have them in improper fraction form. We need to now work with the numerator and simplify that expression first. So let me put a bracket around it to show you. To do that, we should make both of these terms have common denominator. So I'm going to multiply that 9 by 2 and that 4 by 2. So my both of my denominators are 8. That would give me now The expression 27 minus 18 over 8, all divided by 3 on 2. 27 minus 18 is equal to 9 or 8. And we still have our 3 on 2. So when you have a fraction divided by another fraction, you can write this expression as 9 on 8 multiplied by the reciprocal of the dividing fraction, which is 2 on 3. So 9 on 8 times 2 on 3 would give me 18 over 24. But our question specifically said to write it in its lowest term. Therefore, 18 cancelled with 24. And I should get a final answer of 3 on 4. Now in this next question, we are given a decimal expression which says 2.86 plus 0 0.75 plus 0 0.481 squared. And we to solve that expression and give our answer correct at two decimal places. So firstly, you would take my calculator and you solve what is in the bracket first. So 2.86 plus 0 0.75 is equal to 3.61. And 0 0.481 all squared is equal to 0. 231361. So using your calculator again, we simply add these together. 3.61 plus this expression would give me 3.841361. But our answer is supposed to only be in two decimal places. Therefore, we need a cut here, and our final answer then would be 3.84. So there you have it. The calculator I used to solve this, and the one I would recommend to all of my students, is the Casio FX911ES. Pretty sophisticated calculator. It can do everything except graphing, and I believe it is a nice calculator to have to do these type of algebra questions. Now if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, share and comment. 
you can visit me at cactutor.com and as always thank you for watching